Welcome back to the show, everyone. I have seen our next guest working in person with a celebrity, and I tell you, he was getting in very good shape, and he was not slacking off at all. That's right. Of course, the A-Team comes out on Friday, and everybody knows that the gang from the A-Team were filming right here in Vancouver. Well, Ramona Baganza was one of the people training the team so that they would get in shape for the film. How are you, Ramona? Hello, Very How are good. You? good. So I heard Charlotte was in the gym without me. He yes, he was. Like he, I hope he was saying nice things. He was saying <laughs> great things, but it was really funny because he weren't there. He was like, it just feels so easy today because he's <laughs> walking between things and now, everything Now, Ramona, you've worked with a lot of celebrities, and you did work with the uh, people from the A-Team when they were filming in town, and one of those women that you worked with was Jessica Biel. Maybe My you can goodness. tell us about training her because she has a fabulous body to begin with. So tell us about the workouts that you did with Jessica sure. Biel. And I've known Jessica Biel for a while. I worked with her on Blade when she yeah. was in uh, Vancouver before. Yeah. But um, this time around, we were actually training a lot of hiking stuff for Kilimanjaro, which was the thing she did after the A-Team. There you guys are, yeah, hiking yeah, right here in hiking, Vancouver. Yeah, and it was actually, that was a very interesting hike. We got to the top. It was completely snowy. We had 20-pound backpacks on. <laughs> and we were trying to walk with our backpacks on the snow, trying to look all cool. And of course, <laughs> we were thinking, maybe we should go back. It's been three hours up. You know, so... Three hours up? Yeah, no wonder yeah. her bum is like that. Well, you know. How, how great is it, I mean, when you're training, like, to do climbs like that and to actually do hiking and stuff? Because people don't necessarily think of it as exercise. They think of it as just going for a hike. Yeah, but. yeah. No, actually, all that upward motion and then carrying a pack, but balance, stability, you know, and walking is one of the best ways to get a workout in. And if you add an incline, that's definitely going to take your workout. Does no. the incline add a little booty, booty oh, to yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean... We do a lot of different things. We do dance, we do kickboxing, we do that. So you want to mix up your workout, but definitely if you're going to take your walk to workout level, take it up a hill. And she was incline. climbing Kilimanjaro, as yes. were you. Not together, yes. but you guys were training yeah. for that. We have a photo yeah. of you here. How was the experience was for amazing. you? No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really outdoor girl, but, <laughs> <laughs> but nine days of being outdoors, no showers, uh, lots of things like that really makes me feel I can do almost anything now. Nice. <laughs> so like, give me a mountain in Vancouver, and let's go. Did you have any else? Altitude issues because I know it doesn't matter how great shape you're in or anything yeah. else. Yeah. Sometimes you just a get altitude bit, a sickness. A little bit of a headachey thing, but you know, once you've done it, you just think, I really, that's really neat. You know, and of course, great experience. Yeah, Jessica was yeah. successful in her Kilimanjaro yep. hike as yep. well. But I just want to look at a red carpet photo of her because <laughs> Wait, Ramona. Shh, shh, shh. You there are you training a woman who looks like this. Is it possible? Is, is that gorgeous. genetics for anybody to do that if they have the dedication? Well, you can always make better what you have. So Not everybody's going to have a booty like that. Not everyone's going to have no, that. But She's you, blessed. You might have to work a little harder to get some mass, but <laughs> right. because she might already have that there, and then she needs to just keep it in shape. Yeah. Well, and I think the great thing whenever we talk to you is, yes, you work with these amazing celebrity yeah. clients and people who have some genetic gifts to come along with, but the people you work with every day are some of your greatest successes. Some of the people that you love to talk about yeah. just because yeah. it means so much to their life and such a big difference. Yeah, I mean, I, I did a DVD series mostly geared towards uh, m new moms. Yeah. So a lot of new moms come out with their bodies and they're just a little what bit bummed. And yeah. So this gives them a plan. It's three to one baby bulge be gone. I'm going to work for, on a men's boot camp program in the summer for men. And then I've got a teen oh. program coming out. So lots of different things because there's so many different um, groups of people that really don't have an idea of how to get started, right. what to yeah. do. And it can be daunting. Yeah, yeah. And my 3 2 one training method kind of uh, gives them a plan. Okay, so. we're going to show some examples of that in a second, <laughs> we but wanna, we want to show a couple more pictures. We want to get some pictures because Charlotte was working right up, out right upstairs yes. here at the Shaw yes. Tower with you. And, uh, he had never ridden a bike, so we went around. Are you around kidding me? Well, <laughs> I shouldn't say never. It was a little bit of a... He's like, oh, I, oh, I'd love to ride a bike. I don't think I've done that yet. So I'm not sure. Maybe he has. But, uh. <laughs> but that's part of the fun, right? I mean, yeah. to keep oh, yeah. it interesting, to keep yes. your clients engaged, yeah. you push the envelope. You try different things yeah. and have some fun with it as well. Now, Rampage, uh, you didn't necessarily train him. I don't no. think he needs to that's train him. That's just a good photo. Time. It's just like a <laughs> great picture. Good guy. And someone else you trained, uh, Zach Efron, was filming a movie here as yeah. well. And he did a lot of weight training with you. Is yeah. that right? He did a typical strength training, keep his, you know, pecs and deltoids looking good. And, he looks good. But yeah, and he actually enjoys it, so it's really yeah. fun when you have a client that loves to show up at the gym at 6 a.m. ready to go. And know? really works. <laughs> now, people can train with you at the gym, or you yep. have something that's called the mobile fitness trainer. This is fantastic. This. Tell well, us about I, you and your big truck. <laughs> right, well, the big truck goes without me to movie sets, because <laughs> there's no way I could drive that. <laughs> <laughs> I would but like to see you, you give it a shot. So what is it? It's like a 40 <laughs> 45 foot trailer? foot trailer. Yeah. And mobile physique. And uh, yeah, I mean, really, if there's somebody who wants to hire it, we'll 
Can bring you it out there. Fire it out there. <laughs> I mean, it's got to, because when you're going to a movie set, I mean, obviously you're working within time constraints. You know, yep. people are, when they come to Vancouver especially, yes. they're working all the time. So to try and fit it in there can be a bit of a challenge if you're trying yeah. to drag them out to a different Well, we've channel. had Hugh Jackman work out at lunchtime for X-Men in the trailer with his full, you know, and outfit he's on. And shape. Thank goodness we have air conditioning because the sweating factor and the makeup. He had his pork chops on his face and everything? <laughs> yeah. Does sometimes they just do that, like, so they get pumped before they go on screen yeah. as well? Yeah, I mean, that's sometimes. It's, you can't. It's the male ego And it was thing. used on the A-Team. We went, um, a lot of the filming was done in... Uh, Kelowna, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, so we needed a trail. Uh, Did you get to train Black Bradley Cooper? We didn't even ask that. I worked with him. He also has a trainer in LA, and he'd go back and forth. Same with Jessica Biel. So yeah. I'm here to keep the workouts going. Right. Exactly. When they have time. Okay. Yep. So okay. the three, two, one we talked yep. about. Run us through that again, and and we're going to incorporate something. Sure. To just sort of so get cardio idea. segments. You do 10 minutes of running, and now you come up to a bench, and you're like, oh wow. So. Oh hey bench, <laughs> let's work out. Hey bench, you want to be pressed? So okay. my whole thing is three exercises in a row. It's a great way to strength train. Cardio is great, but building muscle is really important. So let's start with exercise number one, a push-up. Let's see. Uh, no, you're, I'm not you're doing, doing, doing the push-up today. So just, yeah. instead of, yes, just do, if you came up to the bench and you're going to do some push-ups, let's do eight push-ups. Hold the bench. Okay. And I'm spotting you, buddy. Oh, let's do five. One, two, three, four. Now what you want to do is hold it up at the top. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then repeat. So now this kind of adds some variation. It also adds core. <laughs> I didn't like and the holding. And it makes it a little harder. Let's try one more set. Ramona, the thing I top. love the best about you is you're so two. sweet. Oh, wait, oh, well, okay. you're, you're starting to count all over okay. again. Let's do another exercise. Look, she hit you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for legs, you want Jessica Beals. I want her booty. Uh, right, I would here. also like her booty. Oh, no. Foot on the bench. Right. Hands on Mike, your. Mike, can you hold the bench? Because yeah. I'm And cuts. we're going to go down and up. I'm spotting you. For so where's the you best wanna, place for your yeah, knee to be? Yeah, you don't want your knee to go over your toes. So okay, you can so you're just going down and then back oh, up. Oh, yeah, that's the booty. And of course, if you had some shoes on, we'd be a little <laughs> yeah. safer. Yeah. <laughs> Fiona's a big barefoot runner. She really, she doesn't. Really? Yeah, no. no <laughs> and then step ups. That's another option. I'm not stepping up. You okay. show me. All right. So I'm too much of a klutz for that. <laughs> step up. And down. Now, the way that you want to do it is one leg at a time, and that really gets so your So, when butt. you're working out the glute right there. Yeah. So, that's an easy thing to do outside. You go walk the seawall, do a little bit of this, a little bit yep. of that. You'll be and feeling And then a lot go, better. yes, that's my three, two, one. Well, three cardio segments. You do some circuit, and then you do a core and ab thing, which here's one for you. We'll okay. finish with this. Okay. So, in a plank position. Yeah. The plank. I'm going to do mountain and plank. So, you're going to take your right knee, uh -huh. bring sounds painful. it into the bench. Now kick the bench like with your toe uh, and back out again. Uh, Here, let me demonstrate. I'm real not quick. even that flexible. <laughs> the bench is kind of low, so knee, toe. Oh, out. I got you. Knee, toe. So what are you working wow. out there, Ramona? Your abs, your, your core. Your abs. So you're getting the core in there. So you've done your glutes, you've done your cardio. So you're getting the full body work. <laughs> you're also yeah. working out your humility a little bit, and you're working out the fact that your pants are too tight. <laughs> That's the, the other thing that I'm working out. Your pants are too tight. <laughs> I have you noticed a trend? He likes tight pants, Ramona. If you would like to get in shape, guess what? Uh, you can do that with Ramona. She has a last-minute shape up for summer happening Saturday, June the 26th. The email address for you is on the screen. And if you want to personal train with Ramona, she has a website as well if you want to get in contact with her and organize a workout so you can get in bikini shape for the summertime That's it's right. the thing to do thank, thank you, you as always yep. thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Grand. we're gonna take a break when we come back because we've done our workout now for the day <laughs> it's time to move into the world of chocolate oh are we ever Purdy's chocolates joining us right after this they just brought a couple of things a couple things for Father's Day <laughs> Mounts of chocolate so I'm gonna send you an email okay. I'll set something out for